what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another one <laughs> sons of anarchy episode one was pretty daunting very tense um episode you know everyone's you know, reeling from tara's death um you know Gemma line to jacks i mean it, it's just it's to the point where i'm just like did i miss something you know what i'm saying like but i really didn't miss anything i went back and i watched that scene i didn't miss anything it was a straight up lie <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean i mean from what we know we know it was a lie outright but i was wondering how the situation how it ended up that way you know what i'm saying how we ended up with this innocent man well not innocent but you get what i'm saying innocent of this particular crime you know um and i just believe that Jax just wanted someone to work is is grief out on you know what i'm saying and <sighs> misplaced anger is a hell of a thing man you know what i'm saying um but I mean, just thinking about it, you know, um, one of the things, it, 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 you know, with me and what I hopefully you guys love about this channel is that I take a deeper look at whatever it is that I'm consuming, right? Um, and that's the reason why I spend time, you know, trying to talk about what's happening because if I don't do that, you guys are not going to get any value out of, you know, me just sitting here watching a show that you might have enjoyed in the past. So for me, I like to talk about these things because it does, you know, if anything at all, you can, even if my channel gets deleted later or whatever the situation is, at least you can say when Terabyte was on, I learned something, something that I can apply to my own very life. And I thrive myself on that because I believe that, you know, instead of just consuming all of these things just for entertainment, you can actually learn things from what the storyteller is trying to tell is trying to tell you between the lines and that's how i view things since i became not necessarily since i became an adult but when i got to my like my late 20s and you know still in my my early well not really but early 30s whatever i'm 35 but um but at least you know what I'm saying? For the last, I want to say 10 years, I've really just looked at, you know, medium as a different kind of thing because whatever it is that I consume, whether it be media, food or whatever, I've just tried to be a little bit more conscious about it. Um, and maybe that's just me and it's, it's worked out better for me, you know, and I'm hoping that I can do the same for you guys to wake you up to understand you know sometimes some things can be just for entertainment and that's fine get a good laugh whatever the situation is um but by far and wide i believe that for the most things that you do consume try to learn something from it you know what i'm saying it might not be what even the, the storyteller is trying to have you learn through the experiences of these characters that they've created but at least try to grab something from it that you can apply to your life and say that's dope i'm gonna apply that and you know what i'm saying because a lot of times in stories whether whether i'm watching anime or a tv show i just I, i've always just tried to to like read between the lines of something that i can apply to my life and it's not just a bunch of information that i'm uh, that i'm just gonna throw away you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, not many people are going to sit down and discuss um, Sons of Anarchy with you. You know what I'm saying? Because after that one hour discussion or whatever about Sons of, Sons of Anarchy, what's left? What's what's there after that? You get what I'm trying to say? So when it comes on to just learning something. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not saying that you should take away the entity and just analyze it down to the very last sentence. You know, like that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying enjoy it for what it is, but also take something from it. Because there's a lot of life lessons to learn 
when it comes on to 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 media and you can have great discussions you get what i'm saying whether you agree or disagree with the stance that they take you get what i'm saying you can have a discussion about it and it's knowledge that you can say you know i was watching the show and show was saying ooh that's a great concept you know what i'm saying i'm gonna grab onto that i'm gonna latch on to that and maybe apply it to my life or apply it to your life you know what i'm saying so thank you guys so much man i appreciate y'all you guys show appreciation um and i try to show it back i really do um so um so yeah man lots of things going on let's jump into the episode hopefully you guys like like the last episode i did get a chance to upload it to youtube um so you guys can give me some feedback also if when you're watching this because as i said by the time you're seeing these videos i might have already finished the season so i don't know yet so let me know in the comment section if you guys like that if you guys like the fact because the, the, the full reaction is still available for you guys but i just want you guys to let me know okay all right i just want you guys to let me know um if you guys like the fact that i'm putting it on youtube with the audio low you know what i'm saying because that's the only way that i can get past the youtube algorithm is to turn the audio down okay it's not completely off because i listen to it back and you know if you're in a quiet space and you're listening to the to it on youtube you can still hear the audio but the audio is in full effect in the full reaction it's just that for those people who don't want to spend you know all this time watching watching the reaction all over again i think i uploaded probably about 40 minutes of footage of that episode i'm not i'm not sure but you know it was an incredibly easy process because of the new pc that i have so that's why i'm now i'm trying to get break, break up um episodes and to post on youtube because i know some people do prefer that maybe it's too late because it's already season seven the final season but i'm still trying to do things and do things and do things so at this point in the video i'm going to remind you guys again if you are if you are still watching this and you have not subscribed to my backup channel Go over there and subscribe to the backup channel and turn notifications on because notifications is broken on the original channel. So I know some of you guys are watching this. If you want to get notifications of when um, Sons of Anarchy drops for the rest of the season, please go do that. Okay, so let's jump into it and I will see you guys at the end for the review. I know I talked a lot there. Don't get upset. Just accept it. <laughs>
backpack in the closet. It's in that place. The, uh, the items in your car? Not there? Just I have no reason to, to kill on, sir. Find out the truth. You need to understand that they were then, they land on the street right now. Same way it's right back in the Mayans, what happened at the junction. Kick off the street war. We might sell a few more gadgets to locals, but all that heat? The question's on set. The greatest lesson Mr. Polk taught me is patience. The business or the street, no matter. What your emotions say now. Okay. That's some wise words. <laughs> See what I'm saying, man? That's what I was saying earlier in the intro. You can learn a lot <laughs> from watching these shows. Like,
suspicious. Where does it end? In a way to learn vulnerable. Our allies. Then they reach out and only help a man. Once they must die, get a total drop. And they'll let him know that I was the one who ruined it. Then when they look around and see everything with man and family, I think he was dead. The dead person he points to. That's who I'm killing. Everyone else who cares about me. And they let him live in the agony of that for a little while. And then I'm gonna end him. Slowly and painfully as possible. Jax is not Jax anymore, man. Some medieval shit. The level of payback you're talking about pulls the club in a very different direction. The last time I heard you share this. Hey, brother, he was stuck in smoke down a private road, local farm. Too risky to follow, man. No other way in or out. Where are you? Where are we? County 201. Lower Nepal. Lower Nepal is the closest cross street to South Two Mile Key. Get that? Yeah, we're on the way. So, we pulled off a private road, farm, took off at 201. Really? Yeah. Jury! Hit it. Okay. Do your thing, fellas. I'm gonna wait there. Get him out of here.
It was crazy fun, man. Sorry about the truck. Yeah, it's cool, man. We'll jump in anyhow. Hey, thanks for the money. Nah, let me make it right. You know where I can let my guys drop off some cash. Yeah? Man, that'd be awesome. Thanks. God. Where's the little mark? The house. Look. <laughs> He's been with us since like season one, right? Chucky. I think I think it's season one or season two he came on the show. <laughs>
did I. That would be the bounty cat. He cut me loose. He's all twisted up. Tell me why you were helping. It's a good thing. He put his attention. <laughs> that's because <laughs> oh my god I gotta laugh bro Gemma is just doing what it's Gemma is just protecting herself what's in her best interest at this point help a juice it's like if you get juice out of town you have the only person that knows that you kill terror gone Okay. I want to know how they're going to fix this huge plot hole in the story, which is, um, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, maybe you guys don't think it's a plot hole, but I believe it is. Because Unser should know that Gemma must have something to do with this. He should know. But then again, as I said, if it was, if it was me, I would have kind of... Um, admittedly already know that Gemma had I would have pressed her I would have already pressed her about it I'd have been like you left out of the house with my truck and my truck um I think uh, did Juice take Unser's truck did he take Unser's truck I don't even remember but I believe Unser's truck I think um Gemma left with Unser's truck, I guess, before the cops, before Jax got there, right? So, I'm saying Unser is what I'm saying. That's the big plot hole here because it's like, he should know. He should at least ask her, where did you go when you left the house? After I told you what was going down with Tara. Like, where did you go? But he hasn't pressed her about anything. So, I want to know, I think, in my opinion, it's a huge plot hole because... If I was writing the story, that's I would have wrote that in there. Let him ask you the question and let him answer it because that would take away the suspicion. Us as the audience would know, okay, Unser has his reasons to not suspect her because she was somewhere else or whatever the situation is. But um, I'm surprised that they didn't write that in the story, to be honest. I'm very surprised that they did not include that at all. That he hasn't pressed her about where did she go when she left the house with his truck. Yeah, we heard about this kind of stuff. Yes? From who? 
Fox News. They're blaming Obama. We got a pipeline just like you, amigo. No, we got a pipeline like your ancestors. We don't think you're even real. Why is he calling chips? It wasn't us, Henry. We met with August this morning. We've been at the porn warehouse since then. And it must have been the goddamn Ivory. Maybe Mark has them on a string, too. I swear to God, Nana. No, you don't. I am done playing by nigga rules. I want my men, my guns, and my heroin. Let me clean the next one. If that does not happen, Brian will pull him out of the top of his cock and open the door. It will come back home. I will turn Mayberry into a goddamn pain. I was not convinced at all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's... I was not convinced. It's something about Lenny. He's just not that intimidating to me. Like, <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey. So you guys want to hit? Nah, nah. We're They're planning to kill these two guys. Gonna put it on them. That's definitely that's Yellow Wolf, right? It's gotta be Yellow Wolf. The voice is very unique, dude. <laughs> Did he go back? Oh my god, Juice. He went back to Wendy's place. Is this his son?
Oh shit, the shotgun. Ah, it's going to unravel everything. It's going to unravel everything now. Everything gets unraveled now because it seems like it's it's either this dude's son or nephew or whatever the situation is. Bruh, everything is going to unravel now because he personally put that shotgun in the van with him. So he knows that that shotgun belongs to 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 the sons he knows oh man that's why they made sure they show us show him putting that thing in the van like oh this this nuts now because they know he's gonna know now he knows this is not good it's not good what's going on guys yes that was episode two of season seven sons of anarchy man great episode once again as i said there is a plot hole i noticed I, I probably never mentioned it before but i was wondering after watching the first episode right um and i remember because after i watched the first episode i was i was thinking about it um and i said i was going to talk about it in the intro of this reaction but i didn't so during the episode i did talk about it the plot point of why is Unser not suspecting Gemma at all? Like that, it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense. But then again, um, it's it's like a, I don't want to say it's a retcon, but it's more of like a plot point that it's needed because if he doesn't suspect Gemma at all, it doesn't make sense to me. You get what I'm saying? As the audience member, we can say, oh, you know, he's not questioning Gemma because, you know, maybe, you know, he loves her or he's just because Gemma is kind of in his blind spot. Or you can say, you know, she already told him is, but that's off screen. That's all assumptions. It's needed because, you know what I'm saying? Like they should have had a scene in the first episode of him questioning Gemma about it. You get what I'm saying? Like, where were you? Like, where did you go? At least, even we know that Gemma is going to lie about it, right? But at least we will know why Unser is not questioning her. She took his truck, left the house while he went upstairs. Meanwhile, the conversation that they were having before, should it's a clear indication that she was about to go out and do something stupid, right? So, and then while she was gone, Tara was killed. Come on, Unser. Unser used to be in used to be a cop, man. Like <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But um other than that, man, um when it comes on to um just overall greatness of the writing, writing is superb so far in these two episodes. But now Jax made a mistake. He made a mistake. He I don't think he know who he killed. And I think maybe if I think maybe if um I'm trying to remember his name. I think his name is um What's his name again? <laughs> I can't remember his name right now, but um <laughs> I'm struggling hard to remember this guy's name, but you guys know he found, he went and he found it he has to have been related to i don't know if it's his son but whoever it is he should have told jackson who they are uh you know he could say hey this is my nephew or whatever but he chose to introduce them as some nobodies and then you see him show up to the house and you know um i think this is somebody that's close to him it's either his son or his nephew or a cousin or something of the sort and then they left the shotgun there and he knows that he put that shotgun like specifically he's the one that put it in the, the truck so he knows that that shotgun 
is is the sons that kill them so that's a problem problem because you you already know how the sons feel about all of this you know family killing and stuff like that um so i don't know how this is going to play out as i said man the stage is set now the stage is set now so all of this stuff so now we get a complete understanding of what happened with the whole you know the dude that got killed in the last episode in episode one like what happened why did why was jacks thinking that this dude killed like i thought it was just like misplaced anger and he was just he, you know but Gemma is really because i was I, I was watching i went back and i watched that scene right and i was like why is she saying this like you understand what i'm saying like i don't remember in the episode at all if she ever if she did tell Jax about somebody that she she suspects like when did she have time to tell him all of this or when did he tell him tell him this because the conversation they had in the car the conversation they had in the car um they didn't talk about that she saw anybody or anything like that like or maybe I just need to go back to that part of it and see if I missed something. Maybe I was talking. And a lot of times, um, I, a lot of times, you know, sometimes I miss things and I have to go back and see if I did miss something. And then when I go back, I was like, no, I didn't miss anything. Cause, cause some of the times when I'm, uh, that's the reason why plot points are important to wrap up because you can't just, you can't just write something into a story and just drop it on you, you know just drop it on your consumers like that like it's 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 like as the audience we are trying to follow something you get what i'm saying sometimes i don't mind okie dokes i love okie dokes i love you know surprise moments and stuff like that but sometimes stuff just doesn't make sense and i was wondering maybe i missed that entire conversation of when they were talking about this or when she told him you know about that she saw an asian leaving the house or whatever the situation is you know what i mean so i don't know about that one but at least we know now why he's trying to dismantle lynn so much because i was in the back of my head wondering why is he going after the um lynn so hard and trying to dismantle them it's just kind of weird but the the information that Gemma gave him is what is all of this is is coming from so i totally un understand that piece of it but i'm gonna have to go back again and watch that scene when Gemma and Jax was talking in the car on their way over to the the, the um the um the ice cream parlor or whatever um so we'll we'll see how that goes but anyways guys is all i have to say man this was an incredible it was a well done episode i'm not gonna say that you know it was you know a 10 out of 10 it's definitely not a 10 out of 10 there's some things i think they could have done better but all in all following the 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 seam it, it, it was kind of seamless how they transition into certain things and the things that they show and paying attention to the scenes and stuff like that i would not have known if i wasn't paying attention i would have not have known why that shotgun is so important like if i you know what i'm saying because i was wondering because sometimes you know things happen you know sometimes you know um you know because of camera work and stuff like that and how they film certain things you know what i'm saying you know it might not have a significant reason but i like to pay attention when i watch these watch these shows because sometimes you know not only audio is trying to tell tell you something but sometimes the visual is trying to tell you something so that when they reveal it in the end you're gonna catch on and be like oh that's it you get what i'm saying and that's pretty cool so i love that about this episode and you know sons of anarchy does it very well you know what i'm saying as in showing you something earlier on and then you have to recall that bit to remember once they reveal it to you, you're gonna be like what's the significance of this and then you're like oh that was when blah 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 you know what i'm saying so that's pretty cool about it and i enjoy that but anyways guys thank you guys so much you already know if you want to subscribe to, <laughs> subscribe to my backup channel and turn notifications on so you can get notifications of when sons of anarchy drops on the channel appreciate you guys for watching over on the backup channel 
are on terabyte react it doesn't matter appreciate you guys nonetheless whichever one you choose to do anyways hopefully you guys as i said before i need some feedback on you know whoever is here that is watching the actual reaction on youtube and you're not going to watch the full reaction on the google drive um if you are doing that appreciate you but let me know if you like the style if you don't mind not having any audio you can read the subtitles um the audio is not too is not too it's it's low i'm gonna be honest it's low but you can still hear if you turn your headphones all the way up you can still hear hear what they're saying and and follow along you know um so it's for me the the style that i want to do i have to turn the audio down low i know it's not anime so i can't use it's not like you would have had subtitles anyways but it's a way for me to get the episode up and have as much footage as i want to you get what i'm saying instead of in, in, instead of me cutting out you know and just showing like five to ten minutes of it i can do 20 minutes because of this method that i'm using um of just having the audio really low because that's the main thing that the algorithm looks for is to to notice and to block your videos is the audio so if you guys are seeing visuals and you have subtitles you can follow along sometimes you know um you know you you guys should have already watched the show anyways don't be watching this as a substitute okay if you're watching this with me and want to watch it um as i said a full reaction is available for you to watch um so um so don't worry about youtube and that's it is what it is <laughs> you get what i'm saying it is what it is at this point um you guys can enjoy the show with me um so i appreciate you guys for all the hard work man um and i hope you guys um you know appreciate my hard work too <laughs> yeah i'm talking on my ass right now i'm going leave a like <laughs> leave leave a like leave a comment i will catch you guys later man peace